Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> Ralph Litwin, and you're just listening to the guitar mastery of John Carlini. Welcome to the show, John. Thanks, Ralph. Thank nice you for asking me. My pleasure. And that piece was an original of yours? That was called Mugabaro. 
Mugavaro. Mugavaro. Where does that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Named after uh, a friend of mine, um, a percussionist from uh, Massachusetts, outside of Boston, and uh, a great percussionist and, and, and an early uh, influence on me, Nat Mugavaro. So I wrote a tune, I called it Mugavaro, and uh, David Grisman recorded it on the album Quintet 80 uh, in 1980. That would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Magabra, with a name like that, it sounds like he comes from a Latin American background or something. I know. Uh, I, actually, I called it Mugavero. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think it, it was uh, uh, his family was a little miffed at that, so I, I changed <laughs> it back to Mugavero. <laughs> uh, that's great. So, uh, John, you have uh, such a long list of credits to your name, uh, working with David Grisman and Tony Rice and uh, the Ice Capades, and, uh, <laughs> just every kind of uh, amazing credit to your name. That it's uh, it's an honor to have you on the show. Oh. Well. We we had you before. We should tell folks <coughs> if you recognize this man, you you might be confused because last time he was behind a banjo. <laughs> With his group over the edge, and their their picture is up on the wall. I don't know if you can, one of the cameras can get that photo over there. We had uh, over the edge on, well, a few months ago, several months mm -hmm. ago, and uh, sort of a uh, over the edge says the style of the music uh, mm -hmm. is a bluegrass band, but beyond beyond the ken of bluegrass. Do a little, Bill Monroe, a little Stravinsky, you know, a little, uh, little Beethoven. <laughs> little Gershwin, uh, little Stanley Brothers, and uh, mix it all together. It's a lot of fun. But the reason we asked uh, John to come back was because he's just... Oh, this is the wrong one. I got two albums in my <laughs> pocket. Uh, this is uh, Dog 90, which is uh, David Grisman's album. Uh, it was a Grammy-nominated album. And you played guitar on this album, right? And uh, did you also do some of the arranging for this? Or? Not on that one. Uh, not on that no. one, but on those other albums you have. Yes, I've done a lot of arranging, orchestrating for David on other projects. The uh, the Gypsy King, is that King of the Gypsies? King of the Gypsies, right? That was a that film collaborative th uh, effort, and uh, David was the principal composer of the score. And then he would hand me these melodies, and I would uh, notate them and uh, orchestrate them for whatever the director had in mind. <laughs> you know. Uh huh. And but the reason we had you back on the show at this time is you've got this new album out with Tony Rice. It's two guitars, Tony Rice and John Carlini. And uh, it's available. It's River Sweet for two guitars. Right. And uh, I remember you mentioning at some time the, the story of how this album got named. Uh huh. Uh, well, um, Tony used to live on Crystal River, Florida. On Crystal River. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> uh, we used to get, uh, I, I used to go visit him and we would jam there. We would sit on the banks of the river and, and play for hours. We had always talked about doing a recording together and uh, we finally did it. I'm very excited about it. And um, it's called River Sweet Bee, uh, after Crystal River. And then one day, as you probably know, a lot of people know, Crystal River came to visit Tony. <laughs> <laughs> in the form of a huge storm, which we saw as about 14 inches of snow. And in Florida, in the Gulf, they saw it as a flood. And uh, he's since relocated. Um, but this is a tribute. <laughs> tribute to the house that to, used to be there. <laughs> yes. Very good. Is there, uh, is there something off that album that, you, that you're going to play for us? Um, sure. I could play. Uh, uh, there's a thing I wrote called So It Goes. Great. Um, John Carlini playing So It Goes. <laughs>
that'll relax your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a circular tune. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those tunes that uh, it's hard to end because the, the beginning goes into the end and it keeps. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did we get a number from you where people can call for information that, that we're going to flash on the screen? Yes, if we did. Yes. Let's. Why don't we show folks how they can get in touch with John Carlini? Uh, John comes with sometimes with other musicians <laughs> aside right. from over the edge if you're looking for bluegrass there's also the John Carlini jazz group mm -hmm. ensemble which is uh, uh, the personnel fluctuates a little bit but the staples are generally uh, Marty Confurious uh, from Brooklyn on the bass who um, Marty and I have been working together for about 15 years we were on the uh, originally met during the Andy Statman uh, Flatbush Waltz project which I did the orchestration and mm -hmm. conducting on Marty played bass and uh, we've been playing together ever since okay. and uh, we use uh, often percussion I like to use I like to have somebody there that has a bunch of gadgets that they <laughs> play you know eggs and <laughs> kalimbas uh -huh. whatever cool well, we're going to take a uh, public service announcement break, and we'll be back on Horses Sing None of It with John Carlini. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, folks. Ralph Litwin here. We've been doing Horses Sing None of It for almost about two years now, and we hope you're enjoying it. I'd like to publicly thank and acknowledge the regular volunteers who've been contributing their time to producing this program. Rich Modzaleski, our director, Kathleen Tilton, our graphics lady, Paul Tomasic, our sound man, and some of our regular camera people are uh, Stan and Lupe Bush and Don Preziosi, Lisa Stewart, Barbara Birchie, and there are many other people who have uh, come and helped us on long and short-term basis. We want to thank them all. and. Uh, we hope that you'll give us a call or write to us and let us know that you've been enjoying the show or what you think about it. And uh, we're going to flash the name and number you can call us or write. And thank you very much for watching. Horses sing none of it. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, we're back on Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and John Carlini has graciously consented to help me out on a little tune here called Mississippi Sandman and uh, this was written I understand by Babe Frisch who is the radio announcer for Smokey Wood the Houston hipster <laughs> a little known musical historical fact most people don't even know who Smokey Wood was John's probably going well, who is this guy Let's see. There's only one album extant uh, reissue of his stuff, and I picked it up just because the cover looked interesting. And turned Let's out see if there's anything on the internet about him. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs>
smart to tell me Let me dream about that lily And that river sandy shore Take me by the hand, take me to that land, let the Delta shelter me once more. Thanks for helping me out on that, John. That sounded really cool. That was fun. I love that sound, that guitar, and your playing. Thanks. I, I like that. I like that style. I've always liked that kind of style. That you seem to be uh, a Django, a Django influenced yeah, guy. I, I love the music of Django <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Django's been there right along for me, all through the Coltrane years, and he's still there. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. And I don't know, how do, you, how do you learn how to play that style when you have all your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Want to run that by me again? Right? Well, Django is learn? missing a couple. How do you oh, learn how I'm to play sorry, that style I'm, when I'm you have sorry. all your fingers? Yeah. Um, it ain't easy. But Django was uh, missing a couple fingers, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, well, Django was injured in a fire. He originally was a, a fiddle player, a gypsy fiddle player. No kidding. I didn't even know that. And, um, the gypsy encampment caught fire one time, and he that's how he, he got severely burned and lost the ability of his fingers, and he just played everything like this. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Well, totally amazing. One of the world's most advanced guitarists, <laughs> and he's missing right. two of he's his fingers. a cornerstone of jazz guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Well, what else do you have uh, to play for us? Uh, well, do you want to do the, a little jam on the... Uh, we, have, we have time for you to do, I think, one more piece here. And then, okay. And then a All right. Well, why don't I play something kind of Django-esque? Yeah. All right. Um.
<laughs> cool. What was that? Oh, that was a, a Django-esque piece. Oh, you just made it up out of your head. <laughs> Not exactly, but uh, <laughs> a little of this and little a little of that. Pieces of, yes. yeah, that's great. We just have time to say thanks for being on the show, and we're going to have a little much, jam Ralph. session here to take it out. Uh, once again, John Carlini, he's got a new album out with Tony Rice called River Sweet for Two Guitars. And uh, you could reach John Carlini at the number that they'll flash on the screen, we think. Here's the album. It's on the Sugar Hill label. On Sugar Hill. And uh, we thank John for coming on the show. We're going to take it out with a little piece of your own composition. This is called... Picking the Blues. Picking the Blues. I get to play <laughs> harmonica.